Hi everyone, in this video we will see about accident and parking studies. Accident studies are important because if you take a section of a highway, at least one accident takes place every day. The causes could be these four, either the road user itself or the vehicle could be faulty or the road conditions, there could be potholes etc. and environmental factors like weather, like monsoon could affect the vehicle behavior and hence accident can take place. So these four could be the reasons and for an accident record these two are very important condition diagram and collision diagram. Condition diagram is nothing but where all the physical conditions of the road are represented like road width, median etc. Whereas in collision diagram the path of the vehicle or pedestrian involved in the accident is drawn. So that is collision diagram. For representing this we have some specific symbols like this is a parked vehicle. This symbol represents a parked vehicle and this symbol represents a out of control vehicle and this means rear end collision as you can see from the symbol itself it hits on the rear and this is front end collision and in this if you represent a dot like this then it is a fatal collision but if you represent a dot without filling it in then only injury has taken place. So these are the major, major symbols to represent the collision diagram. We will see the traffic maneuvers and potential conflicts. This is very important from gate perspective. So merging, all of you may know what is merging. Merging is when you merge like this. Left turn will always merge into the straight turn. And diverging, when a vehicle goes straight, another vehicle will diverge from its path and go away. That is diverging. Crossing is nothing but crossing head to head. This is crossing. And there is something else called weaving. Weaving is a combination of merging and diverging. Here the vehicle merges and diverges. This is weaving. This especially comes handy in rotary. Now let us see about potential conflicts. Usually we have to represent the, represent the number of conflict points. So take a four-armed intersection. Now let us find the conflict points in a four-armed intersection where two-way movement is possible. So first you have the through movement. So there are four conflict points here, four through movement conflict points. Then you have left turns for each side. So you have merging as well as diverging conflicts. So they are 2 into 4 sides, 8, 8 in number. Now you have 4 plus 12, 16 conflicts. Sorry, 4 plus 8, 12 conflicts. Now you have left, right turn is left. So here you have 1 plus 1, 2 conflicts. And similarly, 1 plus 1, 2 conflicts. And from here if you see, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here 1, 2, 3 and 4 and similarly the other side as well. So you have another 12 conflicts in a total 24 conflicts. Also you have pedestrian conflicts. Suppose a pedestrian crosses from here to here. So there is one conflict here and another conflict here like that in all the four sides. So 4 into 2, 8 pedestrian conflicts. In total there are 32 conflicts including pedestrians. The same exercise you could do and try for a road with a three armed intersections around nine conflicts will come without including pedestrians. Let us see about parking studies. Parking is an increasing problem in cities as you are observing. Suppose you take a mall or an on street you need to know how much parking spaces should be available. That is why you need this 
parking studies for parking studies these four are important parameters suppose you take suppose you take a parking area and there are 10 parking slots at 9 am say you observe eight vehicles are parked and at 10 you observe that nine vehicles are parked and at 11 you observe that five vehicles are parked so this is called parking accumulation so this is the parking accumulation curve it is the number of vehicles parked at any instant the area under this gives you parking loading it is in vehicle hours so eight vehicles are parked for one hour nine vehicles are parked for another one hour so it is like 17 vehicle hours so that is the parking loading parking turnover is nothing but the parking volume divided by total number of bays suppose at 9 o'clock eight vehicles are parked and number of bays are 10 so 0.8 is the parking turnover let us see what is parking duration parking duration is nothing but parking loading which is in vehicle hours divided by parking volume parking volume is the number of vehicles parked total number of vehicles parked so this will give you parking duration thank you guys that's all about parking studies before you leave i have a question for you in accident study the path of vehicles and pedestrian and involved in accidents is given by which diagram you can answer at the poll right here subscribe our channel to continue watching videos thank you once again